A host on Russian state TV has floated a conspiracy theory that the Kremlin is working with former President Donald Trump in preparation for his potential victory in the 2024 election, according to Newsweek. The unsubstantiated allegation was presented by Ivan Kamenev, a host on the Solovyov live show, an excerpt of which was posted on X by Julia Davis, the founder of the Russian media monitor watchdog group. Igor Shenichnikov, an expert at the Russian Institute for Strategic Studies says the rumor that Russia's foreign ministry is working with Trump is most likely true, Davis wrote. In the clip, Kamenev mentioned Trump's election bid. Here's what I want to ask. There was news, although it wasn't officially confirmed, that Russia's foreign ministry is working on a big deal for negotiations with Donald Trump. Responding to Kamenev's suggestion, Igor Shenichnikov, an expert at the Russian Institute for Strategic Studies, said, It would be logical to suppose that our foreign ministry is working with Trump's team. Newsweek says that Russia has often sought to sow distrust and division via TV messaging. Trump, the Republican presidential nominee for the 2024 election, has said repeatedly that if re-elected, he would swiftly bring an end to the war in Ukraine by speaking with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The Kremlin denied that talks were underway between Putin and Trump on possible conditions for peace in the Russia-Ukraine war. In the video, Shenichnikov said of Trump, seeing in him, just as the rest of the world does, the most likely winner in the election. If no one gets in his way, and if there's even an election. If there is an election, and if it's honest, if Trump lives until November the 5th, then he will certainly win. The expert added, it would be stupid for us not to be working on potential dialogue with Trump. I think these leaks have a basis. The US presidential election where Trump is likely to face off against Vice President Kamala Harris, the presumptive Democratic nominee is scheduled for November the 5th. Combat operations were carried out by units from the forces and assets of the Ukrainian Navy, in cooperation with other components of the Defense Forces. The Defense Forces attacked a weapons and military equipment storage facility near the Russian city of Kursk. This was reported by the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on July 31st. Enemy air defense activity and explosions were observed at the aiming points, the report says. It was noted that combat operations were carried out by units from the forces and assets of the Ukrainian Navy in cooperation with other components of the defense forces. Detailed information on the result of the defeat is being clarified. Ukrainian soldiers will continue to take all possible legal measures to stop the armed aggression of the Russian Federation against our people, the general staff added. Earlier, Russia reported a fire at one of the facilities in the Kursk region as a result of a drone attack. At the same time, local authorities admitted that the alarm signal did not go off. And the day before, the general staff reported a strike on an oil depot in the Kursk region. A fire broke out at the Russian facility. The Israeli army struck the Lebanese capital Beirut on Tuesday, days after a Hezbollah attack on a village in the Golan Heights that killed a dozen youngsters. The strike took place in the Dahi neighborhood of Beirut, which is known as the Iran-affiliated Hezbollah militant group Stronghold, and came a day after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed a severe response to the Golan Heights attack over the weekend. According to Israeli telegram channel Voice of Israel, Haja Mohsen the deputy head of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, as well as several of his associates, were killed in the Israeli attack. The United States previously placed a $5 million bounty on Mohsen's head due to attacks on the country's army. The U.S. had reportedly urged Israel to avoid the Lebanese capital and civilian infrastructure to avoid causing collateral damage. غار غار على الحارة يا شباب غار على الحارة